So the word going around is Draymond Green is on the trade box by Golden State. It shouldn't be a shock or a surprise. I mean, you know, it was just enough to get to the finals with him in 2022 when they beat the Celtics. And he, his antics got him benched and he redeemed himself enough. But I never understood what Kendrick Perkins, some of these cats was going off like how he was more instrumental to having them there than Clay. Because Clay Thompson signed with the Dallas Mavericks. It is the end of that big three, though, era in Golden State, as you know it. And it has to be that way to build a team around Steph Curry because what they got ain't working. Clay got old injury injuries, robbed him of about three or four years. He could still have shooting nights. But it wasn't the clay of old, his defense and his offense output. Draymond Green had some moments, but Draymond Green pretty much been on a milk carton since 2018 or so. He really ain't been that dude in years. But because of success and what they had, and they were able to be a competitive team, it covered up his shortcomings. But at this stage, he can't cover much of nothing. And... When they play against the likes of Sacramento or teams that are just exposing that defense and the lack of whatever, and he's putting up those triple singles every night, you know, sometimes three points, six turnovers, six personal fouls, two technicals, his night is a wash. That's it. You know, ain't much going on with him. You know. So... They're in a situation where they got to get young or get something to keep Steph Curry, you know, and they got to figure out how to do it. And it's just part of the business that the way you grew up on teams, they don't last like that. So it's going to be interesting what kind of move they make because I know that they want to preserve Steph for at least a couple more years. They got to figure like, hey, we got two more top tier out of him. We can't let him waste. So that means that the cast that he had has to go. But, you know. They 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 did themselves a disservice. They should have had his butt gone after the whole thing with Jordan Poole, and they didn't. Or the whole thing with Kevin Durant, and they didn't. Because to me, he stayed around too long. His antics and his tactics and his game fell off big time. So we're going to see what happens with this. But that's one of the stories going down that he is trade bait. But I don't know too many people going to take him because, I mean, eh. He might go to Detroit or something. He's not going to help no contending team. He's not going to do that. You know. And he's at the stage of his career. He probably got about two or three more years. But of what exactly? Because he's a liability on both sides. You know, his three balls hit and miss and janky. And he don't stay consistent. And he's always in problems with, you know, assaulting people on the court and doing tactics which are not feasible to play in, and his defense then fell off, you know. They make a nice little run to attempt to be, a, what, maybe a uh, playing tournament team, but they're not stopping nobody, and he was the catalyst. I give him his due for what he represented upon a time or once, but they should have been done with him, though. And now, it may be a little too late, because I don't know if there's that much bait you can get to going to take him on, you know. So we'll see. But that's the story going on, that Dream on Green is trade bait. And what will that mean with Steph Curry and his legacy and everything going forward? So it'll be interesting. What will they pick up? Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share if you like. And please hit my membership because when you do, you get exclusive videos where I will also acknowledge the people that send them. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay up. Stay clean. I'm back. Peace.